Hey, in this video, I am going to show you how to install your um, your effects for Open Tunes, as well as the basic usage of them. There's some that I still really it doesn't seem to be doing any effect. Maybe I just don't know how to work it. Um, I'm new to this, so go to Open opentunes.github.io slash e, same place that you should have downloaded the original OpenTunes from, and click on uh, Effects under Download. Then you want to go here where it says Download Zip, and download that. I've already got it downloaded, and um, I've got it saved into my OpenTunes information folder. So it's in my installation data in here. So I've got uh, this folder is or this zip file is called Dwango under, underscore Open Tunes Plugins Master zip. Open that up. Go into this folder. Select everything in here. Do copy. I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to do this little part. But I think you can figure it out. And then go to where you installed the OpenTunes 1.0 stuff folder. Mine, I did it default, which is Windows, or well, your your C hard drive, whatever your stock hard drive is, OpenTunes 1.0 stuff. And then go into plugins, and then paste. I've already got all of these things pasted in here. And then you'll have you know, your FX installed. Now, one important thing is if you had OpenTunes window, uh, OpenTunes open while you uh, were installing this, it won't work. You need to close OpenTunes then and then reopen it. So I'm just going to open her up. Um, I'm going to do the same thing I've done in all my other videos and just draw you something basic. Here is... Um, very strange looking person. Very anatomically incorrect. So I've got that table now. Now, uh, and this is, uh, I'm using the Harlequin layouts that are available. Uh, I'll link it in the description. That's why all these window sheets are like this. Um, and go to animation and in animation you get access to this fx schematic and um oh well normally for you guys it will be it will start in stage schematic and then you go down to this right corner click on it and it comes up with fx schematic if you look at it closely it says toggle fx or stage so this is now where all my fx will be so I've got this column one this guy is at. I'm going to right click on it and go to add effects. Um, and now look at how he is right now. Uh, I'm just going to do Kaleido, which means it's a kaleidoscope. I'm going to extend some frames so it renders out. And so now my column one is attached to kaleidoscope. I am just going to go in here. This is the most annoying part of this program, is this stage select. If you're using not a regular mouse, it is so annoying. I'm using the trackpad on my laptop. So, um, now, column 1 is selected, and it's going from column 1 directly to the X sheet, which is your frames, and then directly to output. And it's also, at the same time, going from column 1 to kaleidoscope. I don't want that, just because I want you to be able to see the big difference. So I'm going to right click on that and click delete that attaches column one to the X sheet, the frames. And now it's going into kaleidoscope and I'm going to take the output of kaleidoscope and attach it to the input of the X sheet. Uh, now, so what I was saying before, look at this guy. Now, if I go to file render and remember, I have the kaleidoscope effect selected. What is this? This doesn't look anything like that guy. That is the kaleidoscope. Obviously, there's no movement because he doesn't move. Um, I suppose I'll add a little bit of movement to him to kind of show it. Um, click here. Position. Click Enter. And that saves your position at the first frame. Go to my 12th frame, and I'm going to move his position to over here. 
and now I have that saved in the animation. And if I go to File, Render, Big Play, you can see that kaleidoscope also moves. If I would scale it, it would scale it. If I uh, did movement on it, it would change. It would drastically change. It would add animation to it. But that is the basic usage of FX. It's all in your stage schematic. Makes it very easy to uh, visualize where it goes.